Biometrics. Based on this cartoon, one can draw the conclusion that biometrics has been around for a very long time. Actually, one of the first human characteristics used for biometrics was the fingerprint in 1856. Since then, many other human attributes were used to verify identity, especially when investigating a crime. Things like DNA, hair, and follicles have all been used. Today, people are looking at biometrics for new purposes. Security threats and fraud play an enormous part as society is beginning to demand a more secure way of logging into personal accounts. Most people are trying to avoid hackers from corrupting their lives by stealing their personal information. Some people will even avoid online methods regardless of the fact that completing online transactions is an eco-friendly option. In addition to online transactions, more and more officials are willing to take the step towards seeking a better way of tracking who is being admitted into various places. Tracking identity is especially important in places such as airports, financial institutions, and entertainment venues. When looking at biometrics, one can look at physical characteristics or behavioral characteristics. Physical characteristics include fingerprints, iris scanning, and face recognition. Behavioral characteristics include voice detection and handwriting identification. The fact that each person has a unique fingerprint has motivated researchers to dig deeper for means in which that method could be developed. Recently, researchers have come up with the idea that sensors can generate digital images from different physical properties. Touchless variants record an image of the finger surface directly using one or more digital cameras. Many of these sensors are extremely cheap, enabling them to be embedded in consumer electronic products such as mobile phones, personal digital assistants, and laptops. Fingerprints have also been used to keep track of ticket fraud in places like Walt Disney World. In addition, students in numerous schools throughout Pennsylvania pay for lunch by placing a finger on a scanning pad. People have been recognizing each other by faces since the beginning of time and although people can clearly distinguish each other when it comes to computer scans there are a variety of reasons that make it a difficult task. Like fingerprints, facial patterns are generated through genes. The idea that identical twins have similar facial structure may make it difficult for a computer to detect a person's identity. Also, because the appearance of the face is constantly changing, this also causes this method of biometrics to be the most complex. One way to circumvent the factors that may change in a person's face is to focus on what does not change. Heat patterns are distributed through everyone's face. Although the intensity of the heat spots may change, they are looked at for shape and location in order to be used for identification purposes. One of the most accurate ways to identify a person is by scanning their eye. Researchers have found ways to make this accurate method more improved and uncomplicated. Some techniques are as trouble-free as taking a picture of the eye. As people continue to use cellular phones for more functions, personal information must also be protected on these devices. With megapixel cameras built into the phones, users could simply take a picture of their eye to verify their identity when accessing personal information. The most common behavioral form of biometric technology that has researchers experimenting involves the use of an individual's voice. Because talking is an everyday occurrence for most people and does not require extra tools, voice recognition may be a favored biometric option. In voice recognition, a software program keeps a voice print on file. Each time an individual calls into a place equipped with the software, the program will match the person's voice with the voice print. In 2007, Conti reported one pilot program which involved 1,450 people 
including six pairs of identical twins and some people suffering from colds. These participants made 25,000 test calls to assess the effectiveness of the system under challenging conditions. The program was sensitive to sound, background noise, and other factors, which led to several hurdles for this type of biometric method. Researchers are starting to see that using more than one type of device may increase the desired performance. Many experts agree that there should be a fusion of methods used in order to achieve the best outcome when using biometrics for personal identity. In fact, some experts are researching the possibility of receiving faces from fingerprints. After studying different physical characteristics of identical twins, experts believe that there may be some biometric features that can be achieved by another biometric feature. Although it is a challenging concept, the transformation may prove to be helpful for many applications, especially security applications.